Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Today I'm going to be showing it's an early review, it's an early product review. Um, a couple of days ago, I think, uh, the Komodo moderators got a chance to look at a new version of Komodo. This is version 5.8 that's uh, in closed beta right now between us, but I wanted to show you guys some of the changes that I've seen so far. So first thing that you'll notice is the user interface is different. Um, I think it's a little bit more polished. It's, uh, it's not too bad. It's different, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not any worse. Um, the icons are a little different, so that's nice. But uh, that's not really what I want to talk about. The user interface is nice and all, but let's get into a little bit of the changes first thing that I noticed is if you go to the, I think it was, was it the antivirus, yep, there's a couple of new things now. Um, standard, that comes checked from the factory, is if a threat is found, block it. You get to block it or quarantine it, so you can set that as a blanket statement. Manual scanning, um, the usual things, you know, rootkit, cloud scanning. Um, I did test cloud scanning though, and it seems to actually work better. So if you enable cloud scanning in the manual scan, it actually works a lot better. Scheduled scan. Uh, this is all pretty much standard. Nothing's really changed there. Um, firewall behavior settings. You do have things like do not show pop up alerts, block requests, allow requests. Now these don't aren't 100% functional yet. We have the same one in uh, Defense Plus. If your alert settings, that has nothing else has changed there. In Defense Plus, once again, you have do not show uh, pop-up alerts, block requests. Now, there is a problem with this, but that's hopefully going to get fixed soon. Um, just trying to remember if anything else has been added or changed. There are some changes to Defense Plus in the background that we can't see. Namely that now in the 64-bit version, it is just as strong as the 32-bit version. They've employed a lot of new techniques and technologies, so they should be equal in, in testing in uh, the strength of the hips, which is nice. Under more here, um, we do have a new button, which is Manage the Send Point. So that's nice. Um, so these will be, it'll be easy to distribute this for M M Endpoint Security Manager. So if you have a, a business or whatever, you can remotely manage your Endpoint Security from um, wherever you want. And they're going to be releasing a new version of that sometime with a bunch of added new features. Um, I'm just trying to remember if there's anything that you can see. There's a couple of little changes, um, like when you're doing a scan, you get a percentage now, and that type of stuff. But I wanted to show you, so this is fully updated. If you, go, you can, if you look, I know that 9417 is the newest one. If you click, so there you go. I did want to check against some new malware just to see how it's. Um, Mainly how the Defense Plus works. So I got some new stuff here. We'll drag it onto the desktop. So I got, I think, like 536. Yep, 536. We can, we'll do a right-click scan. We'll see how many it finds. And then we'll run some of the samples to see if there's any weird new pop-ups, less pop-ups, um, anything like that. So hopefully soon, once they get some of the things we found um, fixed, we can go to a public beta. That would be nice if you guys uh, have something new to play with. I do have it running on my system, and it's uh, fairly lightweight, which is nice. I haven't seen any huge increases um, in memory or anything like that. Uh, actually, on the contrary, I've seen less memory usage. 
so you can see that CMD agent is like 13 megs and CFP which is the interface is 3 megs so the, the usage has gone down it used to be in the 20s even with 5.5 which is very nice to see I'm always happy when somebody really keeps the eye on the, the RAM usage I've also been checking um, the latency and it's very good so no problems this is on my system it's been running for a while now it's not you know it's right where it should be it's not too bad maybe a little higher than normal for my system but that's you know it's still a beta so hopefully they can get some of that sorted out uh, let's do a right click scan so you can see what it looks like Okay, so you can see it's checking um, for malware. Still got some of the usual stuff. It's uh, just, you know, the colors have changed a little bit. It's actually not too bad. I tend to like it. Um, so I'm going to pause the video here and wait for this to finish scanning. Here you can see the percentage now, which is kind of nice. You know how far you have to go until you're done. Alright, so let's see. We originally had 536, and we'll see how many we got left over. So detected 91 point 91%, we'll just make it an even 91%. So that's not bad at all. But now I really wanted to put it to the test. I want to see how it does in, uh, okay, so it looks like it's still finding some of these. That's interesting. I will turn off in the AV. I will turn that off because I want to see the alerts myself. I don't want them just blocked. That's how that's how the alert looks when you when it uh, when it's checked. So that's what you know sandbox standard sandbox alert. Sandbox. Once again, an unsigned executable. let that work around in the background okay I think this is just gonna install real player because this thing is let's see we'll see what happens with that one
Okay, that uh, RAM patch thing does not seem to work. It seems to have stopped at 25%. So we'll just move the window out of the way, maybe if we can. Yeah, no, it looks like it's going now. And then we'll also run whatever this thing is. Okay, so we got an antivirus alert. So we'll clean that out. have to do a restart here when this is all done. Yeah, you can see that that didn't work. Because the antivirus caught that. <clears throat> and got another antivirus alert. trying to access VM tools. We'll try this last one here. Okay, Defense Plus Malware Heuristics has detected possible malware behavior. So normally you'd block that, but we'll stick it in the sandbox just to see what happens. Let's go to summary here. Yeah, we got uh, we got one item running in the sandbox. This is always partially limited. So now I'm going to restart, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, had some breakfast and also did a full scan with um, Komodo Internet Security, and it only found um, a virus which is part of this folder so I'm gonna well, I guess I can clean it, that's no big deal, I'm gonna delete that folder anyway so then I'm going to do a scan with um, Malwarebytes to see anything if anything was left over so I'll be back with the results from Malwarebytes in a second alright so Malwarebytes finished scanning and found some stuff, but most of them are actually in the recycle bin. So that's not a big deal. The only thing I did notice that it find is it found one program, which is this Xvid browser coupons. This is add adware type file. And let's see if we can I don't see it anywhere. So it's probably just some leftover stuff. It probably it was probably one of those that failed to fully install. So I doubt this program would ever become active. But it'd be nice um, if it wasn't there. But in this version, the full virtualizing technology is not in there yet. So it, it still leaves over files. But this is, I think, if I remember right, this Xvid one was one that um, there was a pop-up and it said failed to install. So that's, uh, that's not too bad. So that's it for this quick little preview of the new version of um, Komodo 5.8. Hopefully soon uh, they get some of the stuff worked out and um, it will go to public beta and you guys can play with it. So that's it. Um, have a good afternoon and take care.